All right, can we take another mission? I kind of like this guy. I like helping out OG Loke. He's my buddy. Hey, excuse me. Oh, I thought that was him Loke for a right second. Here. I was like, whoa, you got old. What? Who? You want fries with that? Loke. Uh, if I can get free fries, why not? For communication? <laughs> Loke. I love the subtitles on that. Oh, you mean Jeffrey? <laughs> yeah, uh, appliance technician called in six, so Jeff, Loke, he got promoted. Oh, right on. So what's he now? So? So? He's out back cleaning a fryer. Oh, that's some promotion. Could be worse, I guess. He could be cleaning bathrooms like before. Hey, what up, Loke? Don't burn What's yourself, it? homie. What's up, homie? Hey, you should probably turn those off right before now. you work on them. So you happy now, homie? Happy? Man, hell no. I can't take this shit much longer. Oh, God, Man, what I'm now? I'd rather be inside. Man, I can't get it there for nothing. Motherfuckers always want to keep a nigga down. <laughs> and that CPO, Mad Dog's manager, is putting on me real heavy, man. He covered my style for real. Well, heavy. you did steal his man, rap book, so... Jeez. Man, we what do you expect? He done blackballed me, man. I can't get in the game no way. I told you, I'm an artist. You stole his client's rap message. book. What he do you expect? everybody I'm wet. Well, he obviously ain't heard your new shit. That shit is outrageous. That's what I'm talking about, man. <laughs> Down with a frown, on the tail, a sad clown. <laughs> oh man, that was so <laughs> tight. I want, to I want you to take that motherfucker out. Kill him? Well, I ain't mean, Dana. <laughs> Listen, he gonna be attending some awards ceremony. And that's the only time he leaves dog side. All right, let's go ahead. As if it weren't enough that we, uh, assisted Mr. Loke with, uh, getting those rhymes. Now we gotta help him take out Mad Dog's manager, too? Like, jeez. Like the trouble never ends. Alright, so let's go ahead and get a hold of this car. I guess we need a particular car so that we can, uh, sneak in and find a way to abduct him. I don't know why we have to be so roundabout and mysterious with it. Why can't we just walk up to wherever the guy works and just, you know, cap him? Actually, you know what? I think I need some uh, health before I go and do that. Because I think... I might be wrong here, but you know, my health is pretty low anyway, so... Let me just stop here at Cluck and Bail. I probably should have just grabbed a bite to eat when I was there at Burger Shot, but oh well. Look, probably could have got me a discount and everything, man. That would have been tight. What do you want? It's always good to have friends in low places, I guess. Alright. Nice chicken suit. You do not have a miserable life. You know, I'm gonna do you a favor, buddy. Here. He was not going to do anything good with his life. I expedited his ascension into the heavens. Alright. Enough of those shenanigans, let's go with our taxi, you know, crazy taxi. We got reports of uh, Carl Johnson, he's back in town, he uh, stole a taxi and killed a guy in a chicken suit. That's just in his first week back. Uh, who's calling me? Ah, oh, Lord, what's up now, man? One of Mad Dog's chauffeurs just left the burger shot, called Ted. Said he was headed over to the musical. Good looking, I'm gonna see if I can catch up with him. Yo, what's up, homie? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Jeez, that was kind of... quick. Like, I mean, yeah, if somebody stops in front of you and, uh... in a taxi and just gets out of the car... I would be a little pissed off, too, but I don't think my first reaction would be to get out and shoot the guy. Jeez. Oh, well. The car is damaged. And, uh, Mr. Police Officer, you are late to the party. Clearly, you did not see what just went down, because if you did... Oh boy, we would be singing a whole different tune. Anyway, let's pop into the pain spray. Get all tidied up. Alright, let's poke out and try not to get scratched up. Oh god, okay, this mission is immensely frustrating because you cannot be damaged at all. And I mean at all. If you're damaged in the slightest, if you bump into another car, if a single pixel touches another vehicle, you need to go all the way back to the pan spray and repaint your car. It is a pain in the ass. So you want to be very careful about getting there, but also very timely. 
um, because you are under time constraints. So, it's, oh, this is one of the hardest parts too, parallel parking. All right, let's do this. Can we just eh, inch our way in there, please? I cannot parallel park in real life, let alone in the game. Oh wow, the game counted that. I was kind of far away from the curb, but you know what? I will take it, no complaints. Okay, and if, as if that were not enough, now we have to uh, stay in the middle of these two cars without bumping into either one of them. Again, not the easiest task to accomplish. I would like to thank my dealer for keeping my crack level up. You know, I got one speed. Go. Alright, so what I like to do is try and stay as close as possible to the car in front. And it's kind of convenient that's at night because the headlights on the car behind you kind of allow you to judge your distance. Um, but, you know, just tap on the acceleration. Take it slow. And hopefully you don't mess any of this shit up. Ah! Oh my god. Almost ran right into me. Damn, he's got a posse there. Get in the car, get in the car, jackass. You kind of look like Will Smith. Yeah, that stiffer Will Sniff. Yeah, that's right. Get in the car. Now I'm going to lock the doors. Take back to dog's match. Not today, asshole. Today, <laughs> we taking the scenic route via the bottom of the ocean. Well, that's quite scenic. Alrighty. Alright, so these cars are going to give chase and try and pursue you. And if that woman would please just be quiet. God. Alright, so you can't really slow down here. You have to keep your speed up pretty reasonably so that he can't get out of the car. And in addition, you have to dodge his security, which are going to be in hot pursuit after you the whole way there. Um, but basically, we're going to take him to the ocean and dump the car and the bodies there. Um, the game tries to lead you to a particular part in the water, but really you can go anywhere. It doesn't really matter that much. Just anywhere in the water. But this is where the game recommends, and actually it is a pretty good place to take him. So you're going to drive down this pier at top speed and bail! <laughs> Nice. Way to go. Mission passed, and for some reason that makes them give up pursuit. And thank you, the game actually gave us a bike, so we can pedal on back. Alright, now that's taken care of, I'm pretty sure that OG Loke should be set for a little while at least. Um, you know what? There's one guy we haven't been taking missions from recently, and that is Ryder. So why don't we go see what... Oh, let's answer the phone first, I guess. What's, What's up, baller? What do you want? Yeah, boy. baller jackass with your stupid purple you baller bandana. Oh, great. Now we have more missions we, we can take. As if we didn't already have enough in our plate. Anyway, you, know, you baller jackass. Would you... Don't run away from me. I'm talking to you. Wow. <laughs> oh, what's the Ossifer want? Anyway, uh, now we have. Whoa! What did I just see? Um, is that legal? Did I just witness a murder? I must have. I can't believe my eyes. Well, I'm gonna take its taxi. Thank you. Oh, what? And me taking the taxi is so bad. You guys killed him. My God. Damn, there's a lot of cops there. Um, anyway, I was gonna say, let's go ahead and take a mission from Ryder, because we haven't seen him in a while. And actually, now we can go take a mission from, uh, Officer Tenpenny as well. Don't think I want to do that just now, though. I, I, I really do want to take a mission from Ryder, because, uh, we are gonna have to get to his sooner or later. Let's just go ahead and see what that fool wants, you know. His missions, uh, there's a couple missions, if I recall correctly, that Ryder gives you that are pretty annoying. Um, so it'd be nice if we could get some of those out of the way, because there are a couple that are kind of tricky. Um, I don't exactly remember the order that they come up in, so this mission's either going to be one of the easy ones, or one of the, uh, the, you know, the ones that make you want to pull your hair out. Hopefully it's the prior and not the later. 
anyway. Let's see. We're almost there. I, and again, I, my memory's just jogged now that I'm traveling, but uh, the thing I was talking about a while back was um, how big the map is in San Andreas, and just that there's so much travel in this game, and probably more than any other sandbox game I know, there's a lot of downtime and a lot of traveling in between destinations, which you know, ain't so bad when you're playing the game, but when you're doing a Let's Play, not always the best thing, so I will probably be cutting videos every now and then. Ah, you damn time limit. You know what? This is a way, this is a good chance for me to actually uh, show you guys how to speed up the time in the game. If you don't feel like waiting. And you know what? I actually forget what time it said. I think it said 12 o'clock. Every time you save your game, it jumps the game ahead a couple hours. Like, I think about six. So let's just go ahead and save our game twice. Now, hopefully, we can take the mission. Huh. So that's a little pro tip little advice if you guys don't want to, you know, wait around. 